Happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope everyone had a fantastic rest of their Monday. I hope you're all having a great Tuesday so far today. Uh, Jake Pandascuzzi, K Rex, Eve, Liz, Kim, Tom, uh, June Love, Zeno, Matt, Red, Pat, Flamingo, Pepper Ann. How's everybody doing? If I missed you, good, good morning. I hope you're all doing well. Eileen, good to see you as well. Uh, hi, everybody. It's Tuesday. Uh, we're going to get back to Stardew today. Uh, I'm a little, I'm, I'm a little disheveled. I'm running behind. My schedule was messed up. So I'm a little all over the place right now. So. <clears throat> anyway, a, uh, vintage, we'll call it vintage, uh, beater <laughs> El Camino caught fire on the highway between my kid's school and, uh, our house. So I had to sit in traffic for a little while to sneak by that. That was a good start to my day. Uh, so it's a little little behind but i just had an english muffin so i feel good i also did my cardio I woke up at 10 to 4 yeah i i woke up at like 4 15 ish flamingo and basically was awake after that <laughs> i just laid in bed and hoped to go back to sleep but it never happened so I had some off-leash success with the dog yesterday Get her to go pee and come back in a few times with minimal redirect and chasing. Oh, nice. She's like 12 or 13. Oh, wow. Uh, <clears throat> Izzy, uh, the keys hound we had before Penny. When, right after the kids were born, uh, she went from kind of like how Penny is, like really reactive, difficult to manage, not could not be trusted off leash, uh, didn't recall particularly well. But then after we had kids, she like went into mama mode and like completely chilled out uh and could be off like the old house i would just let her out and she would just wander in the yard and not go anywhere she'd be out there for hours just chilling uh like sitting in the creek or hanging out so charlotte how's it going <clears throat> anyway uh that's cool patch that's it's a lot less stressful when they can just do their thing you know uh so we're gonna get back to stardew i'm gonna boot it up and we're gonna get started uh there's a couple mod updates i don't think anything i haven't added anything new since yesterday exclamation point mods if you want to see the sheet that has all of the mod information on it mappy is not working hello there it goes Jeez, that took a while uh so yeah everything that i'm running currently is on that little spreadsheet uh and you can see that it's basically all quality of life stuff uh, other than a couple little things that are somewhat cheaty, but not super cheaty. But binary, three years, buddy. Thank you so much for three years. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. Wait until the feet pin expires. No, you can pin the mod list. We'll let Scuzzy have his <laughs> have his normal seat back. Without people wondering about his feet when they come into chat. Uh, that's enough That's enough chit-chat from me. We do have a sub-goal going if you want to see some cursed mods. Uh, we do have that going. Uh, as well as it is approaching the end of the month. We did hit our Partner Plus goal, which was 100 sub-points. We are comfortably beyond that now. The next one is 300, which is quite a lot. So it's going to take a while to build towards that. So any help towards that is wonderfully super appreciated. We're on track right now, starting May 1st, for me to improve to a 60% subcut, which would be amazing. If we get to 300, it would move to a 70% subcut, which should be the industry standard. But here we are. Uh, so that's amazing. Thank you all. Uh, looks like we're on track for that to happen. So uh, I am eternally grateful for your help with that. And... Uh, <clears throat> Hopefully we can keep chipping away towards uh towards 300. Binary, I'm <laughs> doing my part. Uh, you're doing your part to put us 12 away from the sub goal. Thank you for gifting 10 subs to the community. Uh, Binary, I really, really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, super kind of you. Uh, remember, if we get to if we get to the sub goal. You all get to pick the mods that I'm 
at least, you know, within reason, obviously. Nothing that's going to break family-friendly or anything like that. But anyway, yeah, it's going to be more Clint Bonds. Uh, yeah, Panda, that's... Uh, my dad doesn't live too far from Baltimore, so uh, I got that at, like, 2 a.m. <laughs> I, I got a message about that, so, yeah, it's... It's crazy. Uh, okay, let's let's get into it. Can we grind up the villagers? They might be a mom for that. Kuganar, how's it going? There might be a mom for that. It is wild. Yeah. Um, absolutely wild. Okay, so that's stuff we need for the community center, right? The sturgeon and the diamond we're gonna drop off at the community center. I do want to get my axe upgraded again, which means we need to get the, we need to get down into the mines. Uh, B! Hello. Uh, <laughs> Cleo, thank you so much. Prime subs don't count, but it does absolutely matter. Thank you so much for three months. Thank you so much for the prime sub. I really appreciate that. Uh, no primes and primes and gifted don't count towards partner plus for some reason, but thank you so much. Regardless, it's super helpful. Uh, every little bit counts. So thank you. Uh, okay. Let's do it. We got recipe today, traveling merchants here, and it's a good luck day. Sounds like a good day for the mines. So that is the plan. Let me put my boots away. I love that this house comes with a dresser. You don't understand how convenient that is. Do you not understand how convenient that is? The more people who sub, the more people are encouraged to sub. Exactly. Like, do you not understand how helpful having a dresser is? Red. Thank you so much for 21, 21 months. My goodness. Thank you, Red. I really appreciate that. The The dresser and the coop make this the only farm you'll probably play for a while. It's, it's a significant advantage. Uh, Pat... The letter is in the mail. What's a bill? Female. Thank you, Red. I appreciate it. Uh, Penny didn't like that joke either. She did not like that at all. Oh, Summer Squash is recurring? Neat. All right, we got more wheat. I need to grab 10 hay. We're going to need to grow apples as well, which we'll probably have to wait. Thank you, Jay Warrior. It's my favorite mug. It's not one of mine, but it's my favorite mug. It's a Dodger mug. Uh, Dex bonus on, on Twitch. She has her own coffee company, the Dodger Coffee Company, and it's amazing. It's a great mug. It's made by the same company that makes, like, National Park mugs and stuff. I have so many responses to that joke. Yeah. Good to know about the squash. Yeah, biz. Uh, ready to dream. Thank you so much for six months. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's made by Deenan Pottery is the company. I can get some merch from them, but it's a minimum order of, I think, 90 mugs. <laughs> and then I'd have to ship them myself and everything. So I'd be fronting like 1,200 bucks. <laughs> and I'm not uh, in a position to do that. <laughs> Thank you, Zeno. Yeah, they make, like, uh, cafe mugs. They make mugs for all the national parks and stuff, like those really nice ones that you see at the national park. You okay? Can you not choke? Eat your breakfast and chew it and then swallow. In that order, please. Not the other way around. You're so pretty. Oh, I would like to see the baby. You're so pretty. Bishop, how's it going? Yeah, how is it only 54 megabytes? It's wild. I know. You've got a smooth brain. No bumps or bumps. I know. I know. I know. Kraken, how's it going? Alright. Moving on. Don't start. Mommy is asleep and she needs sleep like crazy, lady. Lady? Lady? Late. Me. M 
Did you just fart and get confused? You did. Ma'am. Ma'am. Smooth brain. He absolutely just farted and turned around like... What was that? <laughs> Hi, Penny. Good to see you again. Not you. Penny from YouTube. Hi. Yes, you have a very smooth brain. Why are you leaving dirt on my hand? Why do you have mulch on your head? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> What's that? I'm scared. Yeah. Hush, little butt crack. This is a ninja mission. Uh, they mulched. They mulched outside the building. Uh, the end of last week, Bishop. Right? Like a day before we got three inches of rain, which has worked out well for the mulch beds. They're still super full of mulch. They also don't remove the previous year's mulch. They just kind of dump it on top. So now, like, all the mulch beds are just mounds. You're just going to kill all the trees and plants, but all right. Not my circus. Not my monkeys. Need to calm down. What's that? Go get Gerald. Why are you looking at me like that? You need to calm down. Mom is sleeping. She didn't sleep at all yesterday. Someone yelled and woke her up. In the apartment? No, she must have had it on her from when we were walking this morning. Okay, calm down. What's the matter? You out of water? All right, hang on. Give me, give me two seconds. Let me just get her some water. slow. If you vomit, I'm done with you. <clears throat> Who yelled? <sighs> I don't know. Somebody. Uh, we need this squash for spring crops, right? It was probably somebody, like, super attractive. That's why I woke her up, you know. Alien, how's it going? Alright. Uh, moving on. Ma'am. Ma'am. Ma'am, easy on the water. I didn't give you a giant bowl of water for you to drink it all right now. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oops. Eggy, eggy. Oh, that's good, alien. Hopefully we can get everything back on track then. Uh, boom, 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 boom. No. I don't want to comment on what she's doing right now. Because that's just going to get her to engage again. <laughs> she's so pretty. So pretty. I would blame the kids or something for, like, picking her out, but she was the only puppy left, so. <laughs> That's what we ended up with. <clears throat> it's weird why she was the only one left. Yeah, chemical. Uh, Dragonborn, how's it going? Don't blame the kids. I might. I mean, any chance I get, I can. Uh, number one sign. Your kids are growing up. 
the building management for this apartment complex, around now, around Easter, they'll hide Easter eggs, like, all over the complex. Uh, and my kids found one this morning in the stairwell. <clears throat> and they were like, an egg, and they opened it up, and they were like, oh, it's just cheap candy. So then they just put it back. <laughs> it's like, what happened? You guys used to, like, go bonkers for it. Just because it was, like, doesn't matter that it was cheap. You were excited about it. Now you're just like, meh. <laughs> to be fair, it was like, like, knockoff uh, lifesavers and, like, a knockoff Hershey's Kiss. Like, Dollar General Hershey's Kiss. <laughs> So, I would have put it back too, but it's just funny how times change. A Werther's... No, 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 no. I would have, I would have made them keep a Werther's original. Come on. Blueberry tart, eggplant, triple shot espresso, fried calamari, oil of garlic, fried eel, snow yam, straw floor, red mushroom, gravel path, houseplant, rare seed. Mmm, no. Tom, let's not pretend that you do not enjoy a good Werther's original. You can try to sit over there and pretend like you're above it, but we both know you're not. Werther's are yuck? How dare you. A Werther's every now and then is a delight. An absolute delight. It kind of sounds like you just don't like fun, Charlotte. That's that's my conclusion. Uh, you know what? I'm going to hang on to the mayo. Let's go hit the community center, and then I think I'm going to go to the mines. You enjoy them for me, you hate them. I'm, it's fair. That's fair. Not everybody has to like every candy. You know. What is on the bulletin board? A hot pepper for Marnie. I don't have hot peppers grown in yet. Oh, do I? Do I? I think I do. Butterscotch discs? That's totally fair, Scuzzy. Where those are just more accessible. We have a tremendously good fudge shop. Uh, in the neighborhood. And, uh, they make all kinds of... Wifebo got, uh, dark chocolate-covered dipped gummy bears the other day. And I thought that was going to be weird, but it was actually pretty good. You miss circus peanuts? <sighs> gonna have to disagree gonna have to disagree strongly on the circus peanuts but you know you do you mags how's it going who hurt you <laughs> <Yes>. <clears throat> that sounds like a trauma response <laughs> that's like unironically liking peeps Hooga! You're with Kimby? Circus Peanuts are awesome? What did I do to be surrounded by this? Hooga, thank you so much for 19 months. I really appreciate that. That's a good long while. I wish Circus Peanuts had anything to do with an actual peanut. Yes. <clears throat> Hi, Penny. Uh, do you like... Wait, hang on. Before I make a mistake. <laughs> she does not like this. She does like mayo. This looks special. <clears throat> the orange and black wrapped peanut butter taffy you get at Halloween... 
I love I love peanuts like and like peanut candies but peanut chews were just like nothing but disappointment if you got them at Halloween I really do not like them and they are probably wife boat's favorite like go-to Halloween candy and it's astonishing that someone who likes me could have such bad taste. I should have made a torch. Foamy plastic marshmallow candy. Marshmallow in quotes, yes. They have about as much in common as marsh with marshmallow as Junimos do. Sword is garbage. The strawberry candies that magically appear in candy dishes of old people are top notch. Yeah, I'll, I'll agree with that. Typically, it's those random like strawberry candies and then uh, either Werther's or another form of like butterscotch. Do we have cream eggs over here? Yeah, we do have cream eggs, Penny. They're not as popular. They're very popular around Easter, but they're not as popular around, uh, like, around the clock. Cream eggs are, uh, are pretty good. Does anyone know where to actually buy those strawberry candies? Uh, yeah, I think they sell them at Walmart. Uh, they used to sell them at, like, this candy shop. In the mall. <laughs> I know that. They were in like the penny bin. I didn't bring food again. What is wrong with me? I'm going to be stuck on 34 again and not get it to 35. Get out of here, bat. How did that hit me? Come on. I brought... I did bring mayo, and then I gifted it to Penny. Yeah, that's fair. We gotta save those. We need ten bat egg... Uh, ten bat eggs? <laughs> I've got Cadbury cream eggs on my mind now. Uh, ten bat wings for the Hallow's Eve bundle. Come on. Oh no. That means it's somewhere in the dark. Oh no. Brain not working today? Today. Sure. We'll go with that. We'll go with today. Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I can't see. Oh yeah, you can. That was literally the last of my energy. No! Can't even run away from the bat, I'm too slow. Oh god. Ow. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, Alright, leave the mine. <clears throat> yeah. Linus, do you have a snack? I <laughs> need chase music. <laughs> Oh, Wigglers. Oh, can I get to the spa? Wait, 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 wait. I can get to the spa. That'll be faster. <laughs> What's planning ahead? I have no idea. That sounds dumb.
The planning ahead is for suckers. That's not what we do here. Yeah. Does it cure overexertion? It'll make me walk faster. But uh, otherwise, no. Had a second breakfast this morning. That is one of the nice things, uh, Flamingo, about getting up that early. It's like the 10 a.m. Well, I've been up for six hours, so this is basically lunch. Uh, so one of the mods that I'm running is the time stop mod. So time does not pass pass when you're in the bathhouse. Which is great, because then we can recover and still have time. <clears throat> we'll still be overexerted, so we definitely need to go to bed. But. Which makes the bathhouse not useless. That's correct. I really want the... Uh, one of the mods that we ran in previous save files is the... Um, uh, the cave springs mod, which adds a ladder inside your bat cave that goes down to like a hot spring underneath your farm that has the same refreshing properties as the, uh, as the bathhouse, which was pretty amazing. The expanded farm map also has a hot spring in it. Yeah. The bathroom for your house mod. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, there are settings in the mod management, I believe, J Warrior, for co-op. Think. Oh wait, it doesn't support uh mod config menu. I forgot. There's uh, you have to manually config configure it. All he has to do is add another minecart stop near the hot spring and it wouldn't be useless. Oh, I saw a, a mod for the Meadowlands farm that adds a minecart by your bat cave, which is actually kind of interesting. Bauer, what's going on? Let's do some quick foraging, and then we'll head home. And remember to bring food with us next time we go into the mines, because I really need to start getting iron. Also, wow, no forage. Uh, I need to build a barn or upgrade. I think I'm going to upgrade the coop. I think that's going to be first. It's expensive. Uh, 400 wood and 150 stone for the big coop. Which I'm pretty sure I have. The expanded grandpa's farm map is loaded with little secrets. Yeah. Fari, what's going on, bud? Ooh, a grape. We can save that to give to Vincent's. He loves those, right? Where did that come from? Why do I remember that? Can't remember what I did three seconds ago, but I remembered that. Mood? <laughs> yeah. I really need a glow ring, too. That's the other thing I really need. Or we gotta get the crafting recipe for it. That's the way, that away, that away. Uh, throw the torch in there. Hang on to that. Hang on to that. Hang on to that. Hang on to that. 
and bat wings. Okay. Get into bed before midnight. What you had for dinner yesterday? No idea. The mean thing a kid said to you when you were eight? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Thunderstorm tomorrow. Ooh, it's Gus's birthday. Uh, do we know what... Do we have anything that Gus loves? Diamond Escargo. No, we don't have any of his loves. Don't have any oranges yet. I should be able to get... I have radishes. We can give him a radish. Uh, or a sweet pea. Those are easy. A poppy. Uh, Penny loves poppies, right? She's the only one that likes poppies. Right. We'll hang on to that. Uh, we need a hot pepper for the quest. A sweet pea for Gus for his birthday. And we got to water 8 million plants. Because I decided to actually farm. Which was just a massive mistake. Supposed to be 40s and raining today? It's 29 and snowing. <laughs> so glad winter finally arrived. Ugh. Right. Say hi to the chickens. Hello, chicken. Hello, chicken. Get some water. Grab our eggs. Oh no, it's the actions of your consequences. It's snowing again there as well, Eve. Gross. Gross. No, thank you. <clears throat> Minimal farming and have 12 coops. I mean, you're not wrong. I want to go order a... Uh, I want to get the coop upgrade going today. Crops. Why did I plant so many crops? Why do I not have sprinklers? Oh, I should have done line sprinklers. That would have been smarter. Found a dino egg finally. Nice. <clears throat> a barn would be nice. I don't need a barn for the community center. I do need a rabbit's foot. So I want to try and get the coop upgraded and get a rabbit as soon as possible. So that we can get that luck going. And then we'll work on a barn. That's going to be my order of operations. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, it'll be a couple months. Nintendo is remarkably irritating with uh, getting things approved, getting updates and stuff approved. Um, they're notoriously difficult to deal with with that stuff, so it might be a little bit. Uh, we need big coop, 400 wood, 150 stone. Got it. And then money. Easy peasy. Winter 19 of year one, and you found a dino floor. Oh, nice. 
You're already on the dino floors of the skull mines? If everything goes my way, I won't even set foot in the skull mines in year one. <laughs> Probably not going to happen, but one can dream. One can dream. Uh, farm buildings. I should also get a uh, fish pond going. Big coop. Unlocks ducks. Yeah, so we're going to need the other one as well. Trying so hard to play casually, but it's just your backbone to go crazy. <laughs> yeah. There's like, I, I get, I get so like irritated if I don't do certain things certain ways. Like, I try to keep a casual pace, but then I start getting like frustrated with myself if I don't have like, if I'm not close to getting the community center done by the end of year one or, you know, stuff like that, it just, it starts to get to me. All right. Uh, hot pepper for Marnie. Where are you? You're certainly not at work. Wow, you can't play this co-op? Yes. That's accurate. Oh, Gus. 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 You're welcome, buddy. Hi, Abigail. He has a guinea pig named David? Ew. Wait, didn't it say... Oh, Marnie's in the clinic? <laughs> Wait. There's Marnie's right there. Oh, there she is, hiding in the aisles. All right, that's done. Mayor's shorts, blah, blah, blah. Large mouth bass for Willie. Go do that. <clears throat> We're down to six grand. Oh, that's in the mountain lake, right? No. Started over last night and did remixed bundles. The thing that took you the longest was deciding on a new farm name. <laughs> Hi, nerd. Your expanded farm is named SVE Farm. <laughs> That's like, uh, Daunt named her new character, uh, SDV 1.6, <laughs> which cracks me up. I forgot we had the skull bobber. I got <laughs> confused for a second. was the same name, just the league number added. Yeah, like my uh, last Epoch characters, Eve, are like uh, Tug Mage, Tug Bones for my Necro, uh, <laughs> Tug Spin. Like, it's just over and over. Tug bones. Maybe I should, uh... <laughs> maybe I should rename the After Hours channel to Tug Bones. Oh, I can't put that on. Crap, I forgot. <clears throat> Thieve. <laughs> yeah. Like, I just started a druid. Oh my god. Uh, the tutorial, I started a druid in Last Epoch. 
the tutorial area, the very first map, I got two unique drops. <laughs> I got unique boots and a fire scepter. <laughs> like, what? Ooh, we got another copy of... So we can sell that? Yeah. I sent I sent screenshots to Zeno the other day. I, I it's like, what is happening? Like all I wanted to do, I, like we put I, I put food on, and while while it was cooking, I was like, oh, I'll start a druid, and then just like get to the camp, and log out. So like I'm through that little like tutorial thing. It's like it'll take like ten minutes, and <laughs> what is happening right now? Yeah, that character is blessed. I haven't gone back to play him because I don't want to, like, ruin it. <laughs> it started so well. The boots are nice, too. I had never seen those boots before. The scepter I got was, like, that, uh, that fire scepter. That's decent. Let's just end that run. It's over. That's pretty much what I'm thinking. Nothing exciting, but your brain was tired? Yeah. Do do do. How am I not catching a largemouth bass yet? Maybe I should pay attention to what I'm doing. There we go. That's one. <clears throat> I need to make some new emotes. I need to make some new animated emotes. There's so many things I need to do. I have so many empty animated emote slots. I just don't know what to do with them. Like, woke up one day and they were like, here's 20 more animated emote slots. I, what? What do I, what do I do? <laughs> like, tug fire? I mean, that's, yeah. That's fair. That is fair. <clears throat> I have noticed my trackball mouse does not register my left click sometimes, and it's a little irritating. But when would we ever use it? Exactly. Bopper, thank you. Maybe because it's wireless? Ooh. I don't... I'm gonna be... I don't want to exhaust myself again. Can I sell the books at the shipping bin, or does it have to be with the bookseller? Strategically on fire. I can ship them? Okay. Because I can't... Oh, wait. Can I read it? Oh. They still give XP. Oh. Well, yeah. Uh, until I'm maxed out in XP, I'll just read them. This grape. Uh, we only got one largemouth bass. You know, 
don't. Maybe I'll... Get some energy back and try to get another one before we call it a night. You have a book for a skill you've maxed out? Oh, nice. From way downtown. River jelly? Oh, they'll give me some more energy. That's another carp. Nope, chub. If you haven't seen Puffertle, Puffer, D-L-E, it is a Stardew Valley Wordle fishing game. You catch a fish, and then you have to guess what fish it is based on how it was to catch it. And then it tells you... So, like, if you guess, say, like, a uh, chub, it'll say... You know, it'll be red for, uh, like, ocean and lake, so then, you know, or, uh, river and lake, so then you know, oh, it's an ocean fish, and it's pretty good. <laughs> it's not addictive at all. <clears throat> it was one of the best basketball games ever made, Bishop. Uh, work flagged the site. <laughs> Uh, the other one that was up there, not really a basketball game, and it was a very niche game uh, that my brothers and I played a lot, which was Bill Lambeer's Combat Basketball. It was basically, they basically took Tecmo Super Bowl and then reskinned it as a basketball game. <laughs> See, how's it going? It was pretty great. How's fishing? I'm, I, I need one more largemouth bass, and it just won't. And now it's too late for me to catch them. So... We're going to have to fish again tomorrow, I think. Uh, oh, do I need another rainfish? Mutant League Hockey was really good. Was that... Uh... I'm trying to remember. I wonder if that was like a clone or very close to combat basketball. Went to an arena football game on Saturday after PAX. It was actually fun. Oh, nice. How was PAX? I hope you had fun. Diana, how's it going? Okay. Sell, sell, sell. Sturgeon, I'm going to keep. We need that for Willy. I'm going to sell the dressed spinner. A lot of fun, lots of people. Okay, Pax East has... It's just always so many people. <laughs> like, so many people. Put a diamond in there. Another bomber. Why don't those stack? Come on. That's the other mod that I need to reinstall. Stack anything. The moss is such a pleasant green color. Dressed spinners are 500 gold, so whenever I fish one up, it's I just sell it. Better than almost any fish. The booksellers here today, Robin is working on the building, and it's a good luck day. 
Who? <clears throat> Replant these sunflowers. Uh, one more day on the red cabbage. The wheat is ready. I need my city. We'll hang on to that. We'll hang on to that. That, that, that. Peppers. Fidgeting while you were talking? Oh boy. <clears throat> uh, I need 10 hay for uh, the one bundle, right? Hello, chicken. Hello, chicken. Why can't I pick up hay? Irritating. Irritating. Take that out. Put you in. Uh... We gotta process eggs. I might have to make another mayo machine. Can I make another mayo machine? Copper bar, earth crystal, wood and stone. Needs to be empty spots before you can. Yeah. I'll wait for them to eat. What was it? Copper bar, earth crystal, wood and stone? Oop. Alright. And hopefully we can catch up on mayo production because I've got a lot of eggs built up. Okay. Uh, that for Willy. All right, let's go fishing. We'll go see the bookseller too. Maybe the better alternative next time instead of sharp wire cutters. <laughs> yeah. I used to, it's in storage, but I used to keep a, uh, it was a six pound medicine ball, but it was, uh, like a sand ball. So it was like a little deflated so you could like grip it differently. And that was like my fidget toy constantly. Got another dino egg. Nice. Raid in books. Oh. Oh. Ooh. 20 coal. That's cool. Okay. Book of Stars. Woodcutters Weekly. Way of the Wind. That's the one that I want. I don't care about that book. <clears throat> Surrounded by idiots? <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> to be clear, you didn't mean us? Mm, that sounds like backpedaling. Is what that sounds like. <laughs> you had Way of the Wind as a random drop? Oh, that's delightful. Wait. What am I missing? Riverfish, Tiger Trout is fall and winter. Okay. So not you. Pufferfish is sunny. Oh, I need to go get that. Uh, not today. 
but I need to remember to get that during summer. The wood skip is in the secret woods, so we gotta wait to get my axe upgraded. Uh, no. Ocean. Red snapper. Red snapper till 19, and tilapia till 14. Alright, we gotta go to the ocean. See if we can get a red snapper and a tilapia. Have a good day, Charlotte. Thank you for hanging out. Now you feel bad? No, don't feel bad. We're just teasing. <clears throat> we know you're not talking about us. Well, Pat knows you're not talking about them. I just assume you're talking about me. It's the I said fire across her nose, not up it moment from Spaceballs Panda, is what it is. Ready, go. Sweet. You ignore me most of the time anyway? Wow. 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 <laughs> I may never recover. How am I supposed to just go on with my life after that comment? Need to watch space balls again? Yes. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hey, we got. Did I just get. Ooh, and some gold ore. Uh, did I just get the two fish that I needed right away? Amazing. And some bait. Even better. Let's go check Willie's and see... Gandalf Sunder, how's it going? If there's new bobbers. Oh, there is. What is that? Is that like a teddy bear? Wait. If you pick random, does it make your bobber random every time you cast? It's a dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be a dog. So that was a smiley face. Yeah, it makes it random every time you cast. That's awesome. That's really cool. Alright, let's go back up to the lake, and we'll try to catch another uh, largemouth fur. Whoa! Oh, octopus! 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 Right. You need predictability in Star 2. <laughs> That's fair. You changed your mouse pointer to purple, and now you can find it. That's funny. <clears throat> uh, ocean. You. And you. Boom. Beach warp totems. Sure. Is there an actual marriage option now? What do you mean? 
Could you not marry people before? Also, has anybody tried has anybody tried it on Steam? If I played Palea, I would know. I have played Palea, but I don't know. You can marry people, but nothing changes. Let's just, like, pretend. You've been playing it on Steam since yesterday? I should probably grab it. But... Okay. Uh, Willie's still at the beach? King Quack, how's it going? Enjoy your emotes. Oops. No, I want to talk to Willie. Hey! Okay. You know what? You know what? We have enough money. We have the magical, majestic, and amazing 7,500. So... You know what that means. You know what that means. Wish you could sell old rods? Yes, that would be nice. <clears throat> you can still flirt with them, but literally nothing else changes. He didn't move in or anything? That's weird. Like, that's the part of Palea being an MMO that makes it weird. Right? Like... Can you deconstruct the rods? Probably not, Eve, because you can't construct them. Right? Stoli, how's it going? Can't you only deconstruct stuff that has, like, a crafting recipe? Also, I'm digging the random bobber option very much. Hundreds of people married. Yeah, I mean, it's... But, so here's the thing. Like, you have a home instance, right? So then you could have an instance of that NPC in your home if you're married to them. And then just, like, suspend belief for the fact that they also still exist in the game world. I don't know. That makes it... That makes it weird. He has a dog, too, which is mostly why you married him. Weird. It's not. She can fix him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Obnoxious, standoffish, has a dog. Imagine. <laughs> I'm not the only one with a type. Listen. For festivals and stuff? Where they're in their normal locations until you go to the festival and they're there too. Yeah, that's fair. Once we get through, like, 1.6 stuff and start moving off of Stardew, we'll, uh, we'll revisit Paleo. Or maybe we'll do a Flex Friday for Paleo.
multiple instances in a presentation that say review and update is needed and you're still getting questions as to what is needed. <laughs> Toxic to their mental health, but they have a dog, so it's fine. <laughs> Who's Tish? I don't know who Tish is. I don't remember any of the NPCs in Paleo. Yes, Eve. As long as it as long as it works. The local carpenter? Okay, that's already points in her favor. Uh let's she looks like she has a broken neck when she walks. <laughs> Oddly specific, but okay. Kenyatta? This is simple. Ooh. I want to be careful there, Paint. <laughs> Might want to... I want to watch how thick the ice below you is. Just saying. I mean, you were saying I have a type. And then you said she's simple. So... Flip this chat. I'm sorry. Who is an option? Hodari, aka Hodaddy. I'm intrigued. He does nothing for you? So he's a functional human being. <laughs> he's a loner man living in the mountains. So he's living my dream. He's not mean enough for paint. <laughs> He lives with his daughter. He has a teenage daughter who's adorable. Oh boy. Well. That already sounds better than the carpenter with the weird neck. His daughter is boring. He's boring. And he doesn't have a dog. Okay. I'm going to need to chop wood, so let's chop some wood. I just got a combat book from a tree. I got combat quarterly. I've learned a few things about combat. Neat. The answer on your side here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Senya, how's it going? Welcome in. He acts like a loner. You have to warm up his heart. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, I've gotten a couple, uh, we've gotten a couple random books from doing random stuff, so, neat. Um... Uh, 
starting to feel exhausted. Let's go put all this stuff away, sell some stuff, and then... Focus. Oh, it's much later than I thought it was. Put the gold in there. Uh, let's get some eggs out of there. Try and catch up on the mayo production here. I have been saving up a lot of eggs. Fictional? <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's not bad. I'm going to sell the beach warp totems. Never use them except for that just now. <laughs> uh, turning stuff into Willy. And then I'm going to make a another chest. Put you back here. I'm going to make you, I don't know, purple, I guess. Oh, there's still bait on that rod. Put you over there. And we'll put you away there. Uh, I'll take you out, take you out, take you out. I need a uh, trash maker too. That, 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 that. Have to sell the mayo. Apparently, people in town react if you eat mayo next to them. Apparently, we're getting a void chicken. So, that's dope. Let's go. Uh, a deluxe worm bin addressed spinner and a barbed hook. Came down in a bubble, Doug. Sweet. We got a fairy that, well, she blessed a carrot, so that didn't really do anything for me. Uh, but we got the witch early, so that's awesome. Because uh, void mayo's nice. Although it's poisonous now, so. Uh, yeah, it's a nice... Nice early cash boost. We made 1600 from fish. I'm not going to complain about that. Okay. You got your little void child from the witch? <laughs> uh, we should have... It's Maru's birthday. Uh... Oh, the luau's tomorrow. Oh, what am I going to do for the potluck? Uh, hmm. Summer squash? I could do a hot pepper. I could do strawberry. We have an incubator. Uh, so we're going to incubate. We'll do the void chicken first. And then we'll do the dinosaur egg. We'll get our little void chicken going first. We got 10 hay for the community center. There's a, oh, Shut up. There's a new achievement for delighting the governor? I don't have cheese yet. I know cheese, like gold star cheese, is...
the shorts. Hangy soup time. <laughs> I'm not, I don't think I'm, although I did give Marnie a birthday present. Didn't I? I did, but we're not at two hearts yet. Gold star mayo. That might work. That might work. All right, tell you what, let me let me take a really quick break. I need to refill my coffee and stretch my legs. So now's a great time to grab a drink, grab a snack, get up and move around if you can. Don't forget to take your meds if you haven't. I will be right back. <laughs> Everyone heard that one. <laughs> Lots of experience in dying tells you what not to do. Right. Uh GameStar, the uh <laughs> the title Horizon Zero Deaths is a little tongue in cheek. So, 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 so what had happened, what had happened was that was a much bigger drop than I anticipated. Up here, right? See, behold, the famous Reginald Scotty, the man with the donkeys, <laughs> determination. Can you believe I'm actually doing this? Truly, I would so have loved to meet him. Ah. A statue like any other, a nude chap, nothing extraordinary. And the genus? Oh, that was, uh, <clears throat> that was uncomfortable. Look at her face. Look at her face. Furry potato. What is she looking at? There's a staircase over there, and wife boat just went down. So she was looking to see if wife boat was coming back. Now she's just hanging out. And she's gone. Sorry, that was loud. Is that you? Look at the baby. Where is she? You're still whining. No, you cannot go on my shoulder. You are not a parent, ma'am. Ma'am, 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 why, why? I don't know why she does this. But this is what she likes to do. All right. <clears throat> Parrot Penny. Yeah. He does like to climb up on my shoulder. It is quite a thing. I don't understand it at all. Okay. Hi, pup. Let's water everything. Good lord. Here we go. Uh, when are our blueberries done? Four more days for blueberries? Ugh, so long. Water. Yeah. You gotta make sure you water. Two days on the termators. <clears throat> we need corn for one of the bundles, too, right? <laughs> And we're going to need to make a jack-o'-lantern. Corn, five days. More hot peppers in two days. Starfruit in four. 
hops in two more days. Oh, I should make a keg. God, do I even have the keg recipe, actually? Also, I think I want to move my crop field down to the southern part of the farm, down by those uh, lakes. <clears throat> I think it would actually be better. I <laughs> had a cat that was a parrot. <laughs> Killing me, FLCL. Uh... I don't know why she does that sometimes. She, like, tries to wrap around my neck. Like, it's so bizarre. Like, she tries to lay across my shoulders. Like, she doesn't weigh 35 pounds. It's not... Not, not gonna work. <laughs> but it doesn't stop her from trying. Dee-dee-dee. <laughs> We can try Gold Star Mayo. Why not? We got it. So we'll try some Gold Star Mayo for the uh, potluck. Okay. So that's so one of those. This stuff goes to the community center. Oh, we need a gift for Moru. Uh, what? Cauliflower, diamond. Oh, we can give her a strawberry. Okay. Strawberry away. Here's my dish and just setting down a bowl of mayo. I mean, if it's a potluck and everybody's throwing their own stuff into the soup and you just, like, squeeze out an entire jar of mayo into the soup. Evelyn's winter outfit is everything you aspire to be. I can't wait to see the winter outfits. I'm very excited for that. I love the seasonal outfit mod. I'm not running it right now because I want to see what the new vanilla changes are. I know the seasonal outfits lets you turn off, uh, turn off some of them, but... We'll run it after we get through year one. Okay, so we just need three apples for that one. Uh, that was the dye bundle, right? Yeah. Red cabbage. Oh, I need a sunflower for that. I forgot. Oh, amaranth. That's the f that's amaranth is fall. Right? Maybe. Anyway. Uh, cactus fruit, sunflower. I might have an aquamarine. I own one of these. Yeah, we have an aquamarine. Okay. Might get that mod for the other seasons and keep the vanilla winter ones. Yeah, I know you can. <clears throat> you can pick and choose. Uh, not just whether you want, like, one season on, but you can pick and choose per character what ones you want on, which is cool with that mod. Which is what we did, because we ran it while we had, uh, Sexy Harry Clint, so we had to turn it off for Clint. Is Maru at home? Yes. Hi, Demetrius. Yes. The Halloween costume. Oh yeah, the Halloween costumes too, right? That's uh, that's part of vanilla, or is that an expanded? The seasonal outfits ones. Did he add that to one point six? Up to three hearts. Nice. I had a Robin real quick. Daydreaming about new carpentry projects. Did you share them with Demetrius so he could shoot you down? Uh, I really want this. This is going to be our next purchase. Five grand. We're close. We do some shot, uh, some fishing today. We can get it. Yeah, like you get a free dresser with this house. It's five thousand gold 
for a dresser. That's so, it's, that's a huge thing. Like the oak dresser that we have is 5,000 gold. Thank you for the lurk, Panda. Uh, da, 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 da. And then we've got all these recipes we got to get eventually. I'm not worried about that right now. <clears throat> Big chest recipe is what I want. Boop, boop. You're welcome, Linus. Let's fish. Oh, wait. I need to catch a puffer fish. I forgot. Realize you had a crusher at home and left instantly. <laughs> God, I can't wait for the geode crusher. <laughs> yeah, the fact... The fact that it used coal was so frustrating because that means no one ever used it because the true end game challenge in Stardew Valley is coal. It's you always need coal and using it for a geode crusher was just not worth it at all. <clears throat> always out of coal. rip all your coal that's one of the big dangers with using automate is you just go through so many things and it's like oh what did it make oh now i have 40 refined quartz great super helpful for the one recipe that needs refined quartz i guess i'm gonna make a lot of crystal pathways Hot pepper tuna. Still used it because Clint. Yeah, it's fair. Getting so little from the kiln isn't worth it. Yeah. Is this a puffer fish or another tuna? Or something else? Right, another tuna. There's another way of getting coal now, which is nice. Oh. You don't say. Another tuna. Give me, I need a puffer fish. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> Hot pepper tuna is absolutely a certifiable bob. Uh, yes, I made dehydrated salmon berries uh, when we first got it. But I actually, I haven't gone into the mushroom cave in a while. Yeah, Senya, if you haven't seen, uh, when you go into Willy's on the right-hand side, there's a new machine. And you can change your bobber. It's free. You can do whatever you want. I have it set to random, so all of the bobbers we have unlocked. Every time I cast, it picks a different random bobber. There's a little dog head. There's a smiley face. There's different colored regular bobbers. There's a skull. There's the rubber ducky. And there's still, like, two more rows of bobbers that I haven't unlocked. Yeah, Nerdin. I just got one. They show up until 14. Also, I installed a 24-hour clock mod, and it's not working. I just realized. Did I not set it up? The yellow ducky is the best one? Yeah. I'm not gonna... Oh, here we go. Why isn't it working? You need to change the language in the start menu? There's a second English language choice that changes the clock to 24 hours. Okay. English EU? Okay. I almost exclusively use a 24-hour clock like IRL. Like, it started a long time ago, and then, like, Wifeboat only uses it because medical 
is all metric and all 24 hour clocks. A mystery box. That yours up yesterday? Okay. After this day, remind me after this day, we'll pop back to the menu and change that real quick. Oh, he closes at four, doesn't he? You useless pile of garbage. <sighs> Absolute donkey of a human being. Literally the worst. He's a bad guy for having normal business hours. I'm his only client, nerd, and we've had this conversation. I'm literally the only business he has in town. His hours should be based around me. Okay. How it works. Consider the self-serve mod. That's a strong consideration, Elin, yeah. He stays open till 5 if you max friendship? Wait. Does he really? You'll never understand the Clint hate. He's such a good guy. That's... I'm hoping that's sarcasm. How the businesses in this town don't shut down. Right? Like. He's just out here trying. Yeah. Has anyone ever maxed friendship with Clint? <laughs> trying to be a creep. Yeah, he's got to. He has to shut down at four. Listen. Isn't asking. Asking someone to look this up. What time does Emily leave her house and go to the bar? What time does her shift start? Is it right around four o'clock? Absolutely, Bob. He is a certified creeper. He shuts down at four so he can stalk Emily. Yeah. It's, it's like, not even a joke. <laughs> Say it, Nerdin. Did you look it up? Did you look it up? <laughs> What's the answer? <laughs> There's a difference between being socially awkward and being a stalker. There's a strong, strong difference. Strong difference. Tuna is used in a... Oh no, it's not. Okay. I'm thinking of Coral Island, you, you specifically need. On raining days, she goes to the saloon at 3.30. But she leaves her home to go to the saloon on non-rainy days at 4. Weird. Weird that she leaves her house... At four, and that's when Clint immediately shuts down and leaves his shop to go to the saloon. 
Huh. What a weird coincidence. What an odd thing to happen. Hmm? How weird. Mm, it's kind of weird. No self-awareness. Yeah. Like, it continues to hit on Emily after you're married to her. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. Anyway. Okay, that's the puffer fish. We just need the wood skip after we get into the secret woods. Doc, how's it going? Why do we hate Clint today? Uh, nothing new today. Just all your standard reasons. <clears throat> Do -do -do. Mm, no. Uh, let's water those real quick. Okay. 2100. What did I... Oh, mayo. Alright, we got the potluck coming up today. <laughs> she literally talks to rocks. <laughs> Okay. Uh, let me get this stuff out of the way. It's hitting me. Okay. I can't wait to get the uh the new iridium scythe. Apparently, you can use it to harvest all crops. Like it doesn't, not just wheat or ones that require the scythe. You can just use it to harvest all crops, even berries and stuff, which I. I'm very excited for. Oh, crap. Thank you. I forgot. Where? Enchantment? Do the right. Question mark? Enchantment. Ah. There's another English? English or English? English? Ah, yes. Pick English. Thank you. Quite helpful. <laughs> Hey, it worked. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, the Iridium Scythe is going to allow you to harvest all crops. Which is pretty great. Why are you yelling at me, Eve? I was simply ensuring that I knew what you were talking about. Maybe if you spoke with some level of clarity so that other people could understand. Ah, uh, yeah, it's part of the update, Bishop. Apparently there's a whole, like, there's a whole, like, thing you have to do. Leave... <laughs> I <laughs> I am simply pointing out 
that perhaps the method of communication used could be improved. All right. All I'm saying. Yeah, I think the the Iridium side is part of the mastery system. I don't know what that all entails, but that's my understanding is that it's tied to that new system, which will be very interesting. I how 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 did he add so much? Like normally a patch to a game is you know, improvements, bug fixes, maybe slightly new and expanded content for stuff that's already there. This is like, this is not even like 1.5 where it was like, here's an island now. When you're done with all this, you go here and do more. Like, this is like fundamentally changing the base game in almost all aspects. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's genuinely ridiculous. I... Like, I know I've bought the game, like, five or six times now, but, like... <laughs> let me give you more money. <laughs> yes, I own... Three copies on Switch. One copy on this Steam account. Wife both Steam account. And I think maybe one other spot. Did I water those melons? Yes. Right? Watered, yes. Thank you, look up anything. Ransack, how's it going? And it's free. Again. It's ridiculous. Genuinely ridiculous. <clears throat> I would have paid twenty dollars for the Ginger Island update, yes. I I think the vast the vast, vast majority of Stardew players would gladly have paid 15 to $20 if Ginger Island was a DLC. Absolutely. Every day of the week. Like, without question. Uh, do, 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 do. A star fruit. I'm going to get a star fruit shortly here. Ceiling leaves, decals, wall palms, torches. If he actually charged for 1.5 or 1.6, 75% of the unit would go ape. Well, yeah. Why charge for a DLC when players purchase multiple copies already? Yeah. <laughs> like, well, let me pay you. 100% would have paid for Ginger Island. Haven't tried 1.6. Tumanus, it's... It is genuinely like playing a... You know what it... Do you know what it feels like? It feels like a remaster. That's what it feels like. He could have re-released it as a five to ten dollar update and called it Stardew Remastered. I would have no problem with that whatsoever. There's so much new stuff. There's so much like that has fundamentally changed with the base aspects of the game. I'd have no problem with that. <clears throat> that have microtransactions that upset people. Inversely, you get Stardew Valley and people are upset that he's not charging more. Yeah. Like, it... That is, like, partially the advantage of being a single dev, Xeno. Particularly with a game as wildly successful as this one. He's basically made his money. So he doesn't he doesn't really care about making any more on top of that. Like, he very much feels like somebody, like, and I can definitely relate, 
to just being like, oh, I'm going to work on this a little bit. And then suddenly having a million different ideas for it, becoming hyper fixated on it for six months. And suddenly, instead of doing little updates, you have completely redone the entire backbone of the entire system. <laughs> You've added new skill systems, new skill books, a mastery system, uh, <laughs> more crops, more <laughs> crafting recipes, more everything. It's insane. Feels good to pay people who do great work and don't nickel and dime you. Yes. Yeah, he doesn't have shareholders to appease. That is absolutely accurate. All right, we added Gold Star Mayo. We'll see how that goes. <clears throat> yeah, Zeno, I think, and I said it before, and it maintains truth. I think Helldivers 2 is a good example of how to properly do a uh, live service game with microtransactions. At no point does it feel cash grabby. The fundamental parts of the game are all there for everyone. And the stuff that does cost premium currency is not like game breaking game changing. There are perks and bonuses that you get for doing some of the premium stuff and there is stuff that offers you a mechanical advantage if you spend the money for the premium currency and get the the premium branch of their like battle pass thing however you can earn you find premium currency in the game on the maps it's hidden around like i just bought one of the battle pass one of the premium battle passes in helldivers i didn't pay any money I just got, I think it's like $10 worth of the premium currency just from playing the game, which is a great way to do it. It took 40 hours of gameplay to get to that point, but like now I can get one of the premium battle pass tracks at no cost and just continue enjoying the game and it's going to give me perks that I want and that makes me more likely in the future to be like, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm going to give you another 10 bucks and grab another another pack, you know? So, hey, it's the way they do... The way Helldivers 2 is doing a live service game, not only from a content perspective, but also a monetization perspective, is really fantastic and should be the hallmark of like, hey, you want to make a live service game? Look at this one, you know? <clears throat> uh, they have a free battle pass... And then there are different, like, they're thematic. So the first one that came out was, like, your weapons have incendiary bonuses. Uh, the second one is, like, uh, arcing or, like, electrical bonuses. So they each have, like, a different theme. And it's still, like, the base guns that you get in the game. But then with, like, a thematic, uh, like, change to them. Yeah, the free battle pass also gives you premium currency. Yep. I'll grind for the paid perks, but can't bring yourself to pay extra for something you already bought. Yeah. 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 Sim, how's it going? Anyway, the point of the story is... Uh, Concerned Ape needs to <laughs> needs to ask for more money. That's, that's the point. The point of the, the entire process is... Please, please... Let me give you more money. Also, I think a lot of the mechanical stuff, and we talked about this uh, yesterday and last week, a lot of the mechanical stuff that has been added to this very much feels like ideas that he's had and have has put into Haunted Chocolatier and has brought back into Stardew, uh, particularly like the mastery system and the skill books and stuff sound. Feels very much like something he developed for his next game and then was like, maybe I'll just put that in here. Uh, which makes me even more excited for Haunted Chocolates here. Alright, Gold Star Mayo. Ooh, achievement unlocked. Unforgettable. Thank you very much. Gold Star Mayo, folks. 
Gold Star Mayo, Panda. <clears throat> Haunted Chocolatier will just be a DLC where you visit another region within Stardew Valley and it overhauls all the combat here. <laughs> You're right, it's delicious. Uh, that's an easy win. Uh, particular, yet another, yet another bonus for the, uh, <laughs> for the Meadowlands farm. Because you get Gold Star Mayo, like, week one. Iridium goat cheese. Oh yeah, you definitely could have gotten it for less. <laughs> generally, I do... Uh, Gold Star regular cheese generally gets a good result. But, yeah. Do not add Iridium carp to the soup. Everyone hates carp, yes. Uh, didn't I do that on one of my previous save files? I did something that everyone hated. And I lost points with everyone in town. <laughs> Rarely restart a day, but you restarted that one. Yeah, that's totally fair. Totally fair. Uh, Clint, how's it going? Welcome, man. <laughs> Never visited this again? It The 1.6 update just came out, and it has changed so much. Am I getting another fairy? Seriously? Gold Star Cauliflowers guaranteed? Oh, yeah. There you go. Ooh! Iridium Sturgeon does well? It's a possibility. That's our second fairy. So we've gotten... We got the witch and two fairies so far. That's pretty wild. Uh, Mesmer, good to see you, by the way. You added a can of Joja Cola once. The funniest one is still adding the mayor's shorts. That one's just hilarious. Yeah, that jumped up our melon harvest by a day. For these guys, anyway. We thank you, fairy. We got tomatoes. We got peppers. We got hops. And then I gotta water everything else. Peppers. Let me take that pepper out. We'll hang on to five of those melons. There's a fairy? Yeah, so the fairy is a random event that can occur overnight. And it basically instantly completes one of your grown crops. Is what it does. Um... So you can have whatever crop you have that she ends up blessing, it instantly becomes done. Which is super nice when it does it on something that's going to take a long time. Uh, in this case, it just improved. <laughs> it gave us an, an early day on our, our melon harvest. But All right, We got more summer squash. Star fruit in two days. Coop's done. So, should buy a duck and then start working towards getting the big, big coop. You do, you get the shorts back if you use them in the potluck, yes. Finally buying a decent chair for yourself, it's worth it, binary. 100% worth it. Ooh, leveled up ranching. Oh, that's cool, Clint. Uh, there's a there's apparently a secret crossover in 1.6 update for this that adds a weapon from Terraria that you can get, apparently. I don't... It's like a secret process to get it, and I don't know how to do it. But I did hear that they added a particular... Uh, cat-flavored sword to Stardew that you can get from Terraria. Bonus at work this year? Very much time for it. Ended up ordering a Secret Labs Titan XL. Nice. Cat-flavored? Yes. It's a... 
a cat-based sword from Terraria. Yeah, Terraria is a great game. I haven't played Terraria in a long time, but I played an absolute ton of Terraria when it first came out. Thank you for the lurk, Nerdin. Someone made Lee Chat a mod where her weapon always looked like a baguette. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's incredible. I really want to mess around with, uh, like, the pixel art. Just to see. Yeah, you got it, Clint. That's the one. Uh, you can get that sword in this game now. Apparently. Okay. Is that everything? That's all of it. Yes. That is correct. Okay. Athena, you got one four years ago? It's still like new. That's awesome. Um, gosh. Four? Maybe four years ago now? Wife Boat got me this chair. I would uh, like to see Oh, yeah, it was four years ago because it was right at the start of COVID. It was Father's Day right at the start of COVID. She got me this chair, which is a steel case. And it's very expensive. Uh, but it is... Very comfortable still. <clears throat> Are you joint steel case too? Absolutely, Wenrir. The way to do it. Uh, this chair is incredible. And <laughs> because COVID, if you don't remember, if you weren't around, so it, this was right at the start of COVID. So she got me this chair for Father's Day. Uh, it actually wasn't this one. She ordered it, and they're expensive. It was on sale, but it was still like $900, which is ridiculous. And I was really upset <laughs> that she got it. She just showed me the order, and then it finally showed up. It shipped and came in, and it was the wrong color, the wrong base. Like, it wasn't any of the options that she picked. So, uh, she emailed them and was like, that is quite literally not the chair I ordered. Like, it was, like, turquoise back instead of gray. Uh, like, different casters. And she's like, what? So then they're like, oh, we're so sorry. It was a misship. They sent this one. And then they were like, due to COVID restrictions, we can't take the other one back. So... You can donate it if you want. Find somewhere to donate it to. Or, you know free chair <laughs> so now I have two <laughs> so the turquoise one is wife boats and uh, so now I feel a little bit better about the price because we basically got two for one and that worked out well yes Clint have seen that <clears throat> two for one yeah they're like you can donate it to somewhere. Like, who's going to take... Like, let me go to the food bank. Hi, would you like a steel case office chair? <laughs> no? Anyway. Uh, so that... That was like the... The singular perk of COVID <laughs> that we got. After... Ugh. It worked out in the end. I don't need a tomato. I thought I needed a tomato. I guess not. Alright, so we just need a blueberry. Looks like the Captain Kirk chair. Yeah. Steel case chairs are very nice. They're like the... Uh, they're like similar in price to Herman Miller chairs. They're... Bucks. Uh, we need to see the Traveling Merchant. It's a bad luck day. I think we'll go down by cinder sap and chop some trees and stuff check the traveling merchant i'm not cutting down a tree I'm just getting the moss
definitely time to upgrade to a real chair. Yeah, that's nice. Get a cat that has a Junimo costume. We have feelings about Junimos around here. COVID perk was that your entire class got their pre-finals waived if you had good enough grades. So if you didn't, you had to qualify for your finals. <laughs> That's amazing. <clears throat> a leek, radish salad, yam, solar essence, bait, crocus. Ooh, a coffee bean. Ah, uh, yes, I want that. I want that. We haven't gotten a coffee bean yet, so I'm going to grab that. We'll wait a little bit longer before we get the rare seed, too. All right, let's chop some stuff. I need lots of wood. <laughs> that just sounds like a normal cat, yeah. Five hour finals and 36 C what? Heat waves? Oof. Yeah, FLCO. Wife, wife boat's job perk for COVID was working 18 hour days nonstop in full hazmat gear and then getting her pay cut. You know, uh, it's a nice thank you. But she did, she did get a nice card that told her she was a hero. So, just a hero that doesn't deserve to be paid. Yeah. <laughs> Have an apple. We love our healthcare workers. Don't forget the pizza party. No, 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 no. Pizza party is way too expensive. They don't have that kind of money. Would have been time to look for another job. Uh, immediately resigned, Matt. Her and uh, 17 other nurses immediately resigned and were immediately hired at another hospital, uh, which caused the old hospital to revert the pay cut. Uh, but they did not offer those who had resigned their jobs back. There's a couple, so a lot of people don't know, the biggest nurses union in New Jersey uh, was on strike for uh, eight months. And they were just bringing in scabs for eight months, bringing in travel nurses from all over the place. And what they were striking for was better patient ratios. Like more nurses per patient is what they wanted because there were some there were some units on the unionized hospital where one nurse would have 17 patients which is not safe not good at all so they wanted to have a threshold for patient safety to reduce the workload and the number of patients that each nurse had and it took eight months and they still didn't get it down to where they wanted it which was just madness. And they were vilified. Vilified in the press. But heroes, they're heroes. <clears throat> Surgery recovery room? Bring them in to sleep and send them out as they wake up. <laughs> what? I just got a... Wait. What? I just got a fishing hat from a tree. It's fate. I'm so happy. One percent per year going into the pandemic. Yeah, and that's the thing. So then they bring in travel nurses who cost so much more. Bingo, how's it going? 
Yeah. Like, our daughter, uh, when she was a little bit younger, told Wifeboat she wanted to be a nurse, and Wifeboat lost her mind. It's like, under no circumstances. In no way, at no point, will you be a nurse. Figure something else out. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Must have been a basswood tree. Get out. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, definitely not. Definitely not, Scuzzy. Did I not say hi to my chickens today? Wait. What did I do? I watered my plants. You can get the moss with the scythe and sword. I did say hi to my, my chickens. All right. To save energy? Okay, that's good to know. Sword's probably the, the way to go. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, we got to plant this coffee bean. Immediately. With immediacy. I require coffee. The scythe doesn't use energy. Yeah, correct. I've been just hitting him once with the uh, the axe to get it to drop. So. And so... Uh, isn't there... There's a recipe for moss something, right? Ten hardwood. Oh, I need the hardwood for that construction bundle still. I really... I need to upgrade the axe. I need, uh, iron. Wasn't there... Oh, like moss soup. We need a kitchen for that? Okay. Never mind. Oh! It's 20, so let's check the mushroom cave real quick. I haven't gone in there in a, in a bit. Imagine if someone told you yesterday when you first found moss. <laughs> that would have been helpful. Dried common mushroom. Ooh, 113 energy. We need to turn the morel in. And the commons? Really? Morel for that. Oh, for fall foraging? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, morel, then we just need a purple mushroom and whatever we can get off of tappers. Yeah, yeah. I always forget that that's part of the, the fall one. New stuff, huh? Lots of new stuff, seahorse. Lots of stuff. Whole bunches. Whole, whole bunches. Uh, pa, 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 pa. Put those in. Take that out. Put those in there. You can move the dehydrator. Oh, that's good to know. Wondering how or whether the mushroom log is beneficial if you choose the mushroom cave. Uh, I'm going to see how much does it tell me. Ooh. So. Maybe. Because this is five common mushrooms. And that sells for 325. That's. 40 each. So instead of 200, it sells for 325. It just gives you more mushrooms to dehydrate. Yeah. So not, not a terrible investment. I'll probably move the dehydrator can be, uh, once I have some mushroom logs and stuff, but if you plant a couple trees around it, you get a lot of shrooms each time, right? It's based on, hang on. There's a whole Grows mushrooms every so often. The more wild trees are nearby, the better it works. Mm 
Uh, I'm not sure if it just gives you commons or if it can give you any of them. Also, the dehydrator takes 24 hours to process, roughly. So that's not terrible. Ooh, level 6 farming. Cheese press, quality sprinkler. You've gotten purples? Nice. You've gotten more than one kind? That's cool. Yeah, so that's... That's even better. So... So the the mushroom stuff that comes, the dehydration stuff counts as artisanal goods. So you'll get another bonus for those uh, from artisan, which is pretty cool. So that could really. really increase the uh, price. Uh, let's give this to Alex. Actually, I'll give him the Silver Star one. It's his birthday. Ops will sell. This stuff will sell. Let me grab a couple more eggs. Refill the mayo machine. Sell all that. It's good energy. It's good fo food for the skull mines. Yeah, that's fair. It was like a hundred something energy, right? Uh, two days, 22 hours until that egg is done. Take care, Clint. Thank you for hanging out. Okay, we'll go see Alex, and then I think we'll go into the mines, which means, hey, I should grab food. <laughs> that would be helpful, huh? That would be super helpful. Uh, before we do that, real quick, uh, I just need to take a very quick, like, two-minute break. Uh, I have to pee. So, now's a great time to grab a drink, grab a snack, get up and move around if you can. Don't forget to take your meds if you haven't. I will be right back. I was just thinking... You think I... Unbelievable. You think I would... In these circumstances? The fate of the world is in the balance and you're thinking about sex? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> this is... 100% written by a table of 12-year-old boys at a middle school somewhere. It's fantastic. Your wish is my command. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to let you out. Number one, you probably have Darkspawn taint. Number two, you were robbing from a dwarven tig where castles were forced to defend it. So I'm in a bad mood. You need to die. Please, no! <laughs> I, I thought we were just gonna stab him. That was so much better. <laughs> this is Calhiral. <laughs> Why did Sigrun disapprove? <laughs> that was great. Oh, man. That was fantastic. It's what we might be doing for the rest of the day. How dare you? Boom! Is this thing on? Happy Tuesday, everybody. It's very sudden, isn't it? 
Oops. That was the wrong button. Guess what? You get it in this screen. Boys and girls, Twiggy, of all ages, it's a go to sleep. I don't care what's going on in the background. Go to sleep. <clears throat> Bishop, get up and go to the gym. Now. I'll wait. Go on. Okay, I'm back. Bishop, go to the gym. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, food. Right. I need things to eat whilst I'm in the mines. That would be nice. I'm just going to do field snacks for now. And... Five salmon berries will work. Okay. Let's go. We need to find Alex real quick. He should be... At home. Exactly, Bishop. I'm glad. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a good plan. Wakey, wakey. Like George and Evelyn aren't up. Boom. Okay. The implication that George and Evelyn aren't up before 8 a.m. is hilarious. Uh, Caroline would like an octopus. They're... Are they rain only? I haven't caught one yet. They're such a pain. No, not rain only. Only until 13, though. We'll try for that tomorrow. I really want to get... We need to get down and get some iron. Doesn't mean they want people in their house. <laughs> Have you met old people? <laughs> <clears throat> that they're doing other things before 8? You know what? Fair. That's fair. That's fair. Gotta give her time to put her face on. Well, yeah. Oh, uh, I forgot my torch. Oh, thank you. And good day. Doesn't let people talk to me before. <laughs> so, yeah, that's also fair. Uh, oh, I need another sword. I need... Maybe I should just go buy a sword instead of suffering through this toothpick. You're a much better person if we speak after eight. <laughs> Listen. Taking time to drink his coffee? Yeah. Can't fault it. Can't really fault it. Ooh! Okay. Ooh, coal. Hmm. 
There we go. Got another prismatic shard from a forest jelly? E, what? How? It's like a 0.1% drop rate on that. How is that? How? You need to find out. You got to find out what the seed number is for that world. Is what you need to do. And then only ever play on that seed ever again. Phone rang at like 8.01 a.m. You struggled out of bed, shuffled across to the phone. In your mom's room. She was at work. Pick it up and it's Memento. And he says, wakey, wakey. <laughs> Can I uh, save scum into your seed? Thanks. That's when you knew, LeFay? That's... That's when you knew, right? You only wished for his death at that time? Yeah, I love when wife boats like, oh yeah, wake me up at, at like this time or like when you get back with the kids from school and I just look at her like, sure, I'll get right on that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I can't see stairs. Is there a gamma setting in this game? <laughs> Quince in old. Listen. I, I... I destroyed everything. I don't have... I can't... Can I make a torch? No. I can't. I don't have... I don't have sap. How am I not past these levels yet? Because I keep getting stuck... Can I make a glow ring? Not yet. I don't have any ring recipes except for the sturdy ring. Oh! There it is! There it is! Thank you, bats! Oh my god. Come on. One more. <laughs> oh, I'm out of energy. Hold down the indigo button on your watch. You ever did that? Did you ever do that, records? Like, if you if you were like sleeping over a friend's house or something, and you had one of those like indigo watches that you could hold, and you're like trying to get to the bathroom, like in the middle of the night, and you're like, oh man. I forgot about that. That just unlocked a whole bunch of hilarious memories. Thank you for that, Records. Thank you for being old with us. Like that tiny little spit of light was going to help you with anything. <laughs>
Come on. Give me your way down. <laughs> oh, yeah, Bob. Now you just walk with your phone unlocked. <laughs> You still not dead? Ooh, there's the staircase. Go, 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 get me out of here. No! Not fighting you. Oh my god. You went to the desert to get your sword and got another shard in the mines. You're terrible. I'm gonna throw that out there. You're terrible. You can, you can go. Uh, all right. Uh, you know what? Let's keep going. It's only 17. Let's keep going a little bit. That luck though, right? Because we need... Iron like whoa. Also need that for the dye bundle. Cute. The more summer squash. <clears throat> Had to use the flashlight on your phone because the ambient light from the screen wasn't enough to find safe footing. <laughs> You're never leaving? Despite all my efforts? Hey, level four mining. Let's go. I've got a very... I feel like I'm hitting these things with a sharpened spoon. This sword is ridiculous. Because of them? I mean, that does make more sense. Uh... That does make more sense to me, so, fair. Because it's dull, you twit. Oh, the sword! We should watch Waterworld as a community, right? Give me coal! Oh my god, how does it- how is it taking so long to kill dust sprites? You love Waterworld? You- <laughs> You would. That explains so much. Literally so much. Like, every question I've ever had about you as a person has just been clarified. We should have had this conversation years ago. <laughs> Did I remix weapons? No. I, I don't remix the mines because the last time I did it, I had the broken sword until the bottom of the regular mines. <laughs> like, I never got another weapon. <laughs> when did Waterworld come out? It was in the 90s. <laughs> the only movie that you're not allowed you to watch was Waterworld. Why? <laughs> but why? A rare disc? What movie is Waterworld? Most of her movies were not appropriate <laughs> for someone your age. Don't blame us for your lack of taste. Okay. Uh, 45. It's 22. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Inven 
inventory's full. <laughs> Waterworld's just a story about the Dutch fighting the sea every day and be swallowed by it. Your aunt had HBO and taped them for you? You know how I know you're old? <laughs> Does anybody else still, to this day, if they see a particular movie, or if you hear a particular song, that the original version of it you only know because you taped it off the radio or off of TV, when certain points in the story come along or certain points in the song come along or at the end of the song your mind immediately starts playing like the commercial that cut in or the dj or <clears throat> or is that just me uh retaining soil That can go to the community center. That checks out. Dad bringing it home from the grocery store video rental. Nice. You with Muppet Treasure Island? Yeah. Not many movies taped from TV. Eve, stop it. Stop. Stop. You got another shard. <laughs> Actually laughing so hard. That's ridiculous. And genuinely, you need to figure out what the... <laughs> what the seed is for that file, because... Ooh, level four mo- Ah, glowstone ring. Hey. At a local place that did 99 cent overnight rentals, but being late, it was one ninety nine per night. There'll be rain tomorrow. Why is the square green? There's going to be green. Remove a mod to make your experience worse. No. Absolutely not. Check the TV. Okay. What was I? I opened my inventory. Oh, glowstone ring. I want to see what that takes. Where is it? Five iron bars and five solar essence. Ugh. Ugh. Don't have any of that. Hang on, it's Queen of the Sauce. Pancakes. Um. There appears to be some kind of anomalous reading. I, I don't know what this means. It automatically happens on the 15th of summer. A pale ale for Pamela. It's a specific date. That wouldn't be surprising. Blueberries! Best sound in the game. Everyone shut up. Okay. Carry on. And I got a star fruit. Noise. So turn the blueberry in. Uh, star fruit we don't have to turn in, but I'll hang on to it until we get a seed maker. 108 blueberries. Bing. If text tones were still a thing, yours would be that. They're definitely still a thing. My my text alert phone. So I do have, since kids, I have turned my ringer back on, particularly since my kids 
got phones. So anytime they're not with me, I have my ringer on, like, so that I don't miss a call or a text from them. So my text alert sound when my kids text me is the Stardew fishing hook sound. <laughs> It's definitely a little confusing sometimes. Uh, okay. Sell the blueberries. Oops. Not all of them. Just most of them. <laughs> Your text notification is Sam Regal saying you can reply to this message. <laughs> that's... That's kind of great. <laughs> that's kind of great. Uh, my email alert... Uh, Scuzzy, which isn't on anymore, is uh, <laughs> Liam saying dagger, dagger, dagger. Oops, all berries. Yeah. <laughs> that one too. I have de I dehydrated some salmon berries. Oh, we could dehydrate blueberries. That's a great shout, Senya. Uh, uh, it's only for, I only have the alert on one email account, which is not registered with anything. Uh, it's like the only people who have that email are like my lawyer, <laughs> my realtor, my mortgage guy. Like it's for specific things. Liam saying Eldritch Blast and his Caleb as Ford accent. <laughs> that's incredible. Uh, that's fantastic. Blueberries in a day. Okay. So I'm going to hang on to these then and we'll dehydrate them and see what that gets us. Uh, I need that for the community center. I need that for the community center. I need to water my plants, and I still need to say hi to my animals. So let's get that going. Had that ring since it was a thing you could do. That's, uh... I just recently changed my text alert to the Stardew Fishing Hook for pretty much ever uh, since Halo ODST came out. It was the visual alert sound, the superintendent alert sound from Halo ODST. The only variation <laughs> that I've had is if my old boss, who was the best, literally the best boss I've, I've ever had in all of my careers, uh, he was fantastic. Uh, his text alert, which went off, someone told him that's what the text alert was, uh, and he did not believe them, so he walked up behind me and then texted me and then heard it. Got a little upset, because we were in public, and it was from Dexter, and it was, surprise, mother and, uh pretty funny. I got a laugh out of it. He didn't find it as humorous, but I thought it was pretty great. <clears throat> it's embarrassing to actually <laughs> accidentally go off at work. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. Man, the first couple seasons of Dexter were fantastic. After John Lithgow's season, not so much. But through that season, genuinely, like some of the best TV. Okay. Animals? A chocobo? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm curious to see how much the dehydrated blueberries are going to be. Hey, 
hit by the rider strike really hard? Yeah. Same thing with heroes. Uh, I was talking with Wifeboat about this the other day. Uh, the first season of Heroes, like, Heroes was almost what the MCU became. Like, and then the writer's strike just killed that show. There, there was an entire year where you could just say, save the cheerleader, save the world to somebody. And they would just go, oh my god, and just start talking about the show. The first season was incredible. And then it was just ruined by greed. Shockingly enough. The writer's strike. That is, like, of all the shows that got wrecked by the writer's strike, I think Heroes is probably the one that, like, we lost the most. Because that, that show could have been something. Lost is another one, yeah. Lost had a stronger base, but yeah. Lost at least, like, had a chance to get started. And, like, they, they somewhat recovered. Lost somewhat recovered. But it just... Heroes was... Yeah. Lost Lost had enough of a foundation to mostly survive it. Heroes was ruined. Alright, we got a quality sprinkler, which is awesome. <clears throat> you like the ending of Lost? Uh I don't know that that's a hot take, but I think I think quite a few people don't mind it. One hand. All the way through until dawn. <laughs> uh, there's a there's a superhero web serial. I've talked about this on stream before called Worm. Um, and I think that is begging for a heroes like adaptation uh, into a mini series. I think that could be genuinely fantastic. <gasps> Ooh. Uh ooh. What is happening right now? Cloth I need for the artisan bundle. Hail ale I need for Pam. Then I can I don't have access to a keg, so I could just give it to her and finish that quest. Uh Supernatural is kind of ridiculous from the jump. Yeah. Bari, thank you so much for 16 months, buddy. Uh, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that, man. Welcome back. Instead, we got 27 seasons of Supernatural. <laughs> Supernatural started out ridiculous and then just stayed ridiculous. It's not a bad show, though. Heavy on the guilt. Uh... It's just stuff that I need to complete stuff, see? that's That's the thing. Like, a couple things that... I, she never sells stuff like that. Um, I'm going to grab a rare seed now. Just because I know... As soon as fall gets close and into fall, she's, like, never going to carry it again. So I got a wood skip, pale ale, and cloth. All of which I need for... The pale ale is for Pam. Uh, but the wood skip will finish the one quest. So that saves me having to get into the Lost Woods right away. Which is sweet. Uh, where do I want to put this? Guess. Not really anywhere I can put it that I can get, like, super great value out of it. I guess we'll put it there. Whatever. <clears throat> Should have stopped after season five as it was the original plan. I think too many shows uh, suffer from success. And by that I mean too many shows have a good run and then go beyond what they 
initially planned for, and you can definitely tell that the creativity and the heart is not in it. Perfect example, Baldur's Gate 3, and the planned DLC that Larian had started working on, and Sven basically sat down and said, like, our heart's not in it, we're not going to do this, it's going to cheapen our work, we're not going to do it. And they walked away from it, which is the right decision. I'd rather not have any DLC than have a half DLC that is bad. Love When a Show has planned to end up, like, has a story arc. Yeah, yeah. Like, you have an arc, you have a plan, you have an end to your story. End the story. Full stop. Just end, like, let it go. Enjoy perfection, right? Like, like, let it, let it go. Uh, that's fall... Walleye is also fall and rain. Okay, so those two fish, we gotta wait for fall to get. Then we need artisan bundle. Channel your inner Elsa and let it go. Ted Lasso and Good Place come to mind with this? Yeah, fair. Let's do this, and it's, I mean, like, it's kind of a meme, but that's jumping the shark, right? That's, like, that's what jumping the shark is. You've, you've hit a point where you're just, like, throwing stuff at the wall to see what, what sticks. Lee Chat, how's it going? Okay, uh, that has to go to the museum. I gotta get down there quick. And we'll probably do a little fishing. Just makes it a daytime soap. I mean, it was always kind of a daytime soap, Fawn. So they just embraced it. I think they fought it initially and then just ended up embracing the fact that they're it's just a soap opera. <laughs> Can't be placed outdoors. Love that. <clears throat> I think we'll do a little fishing to close out the day. I think. Murphy, how's it going? The daytime soap at night, yeah. We were discussing the baguette. Yeah, that's incredible. Uh, that's really, really funny. Uh, Leo likes Dish of the Sea, eh? There you go. I must fish. Me and fishing. Imagine. Imagine. Oh! Oh, I wasn't ready for that! I wasn't ready for that. I kind of forgot about that. All right, you want to play games? You want to play games, champ? Are we going to catch you at level six fishing? Let's go. Are we going to dance? Are we going to we going to do the dance? Uh that is my visible fish mod, we chat. If you haven't seen that mod, million out of ten recommend. You can set the density. Uh, it's a fantastic mod. I always use it because it gives the water so much more life and activity. Plus, quick at a glance to see what you can catch is also nice. Yeah, and turning the density way up is freaking hilarious. It's nothing but fish. It's just wall-to-wall -wall fish. Dip your toe in and it's gonna get bit. Uh, 
I see you down there, Mr. Crimson. I see you. It's more than I ever thought it was going to be, Murphy. Like, it's genuinely outrageous. It really is. Like, there's so much that has mechanically and fundamentally changed with everything about the game. <laughs> and it, like, that seems like over the top to say, but a lot of, like, really base systems have changed completely. It's really, really interesting. <laughs> Some small changes to make it easier for modders. Mm hmm. Yep. We were saying. Uh, I was saying before, I'm like a lot of these changes feel like stuff that he was developing for Haunted Chocolatier, and as he got hyper fixated on the 1.6 update, he kind of just like let that stuff seep in and made fundamental mechanical changes to the game that are fantastic and make it feel really fresh. It's really good. Like, even simple stuff like my randomized bobber is incredible. Like, that's just a neat little thing. Let me get that real quick. Ooh. Yeah, and he did that with 1.5 fawn. Incorporated some popular mod stuff in 1.5. Just a little bit more balanced for the base game. But... It's just, it's really well done. Been playing vanilla so you see all the fun new stuff. Some of your mods have already been pulled because you don't need them anymore. Yeah, there are some, uh, like I didn't install uh, seasonal outfits because I want to see what the, <sighs> I wasn't ready for that. Bob, how's it going? Uh, I want to see what the new winter outfits look like, so... I don't want that to interfere. We'll probably reinstall it after year one, but I'm really excited to see. Like, the Meadowlands farm, Leech Ad, I don't know if I'm wrong, but it feels like the Meadowlands farm is going to be the default farm for anybody who speedruns. Because, I mean, you're getting Gold Star Mayo week one? Like, no? Definitely not. I don't know how speedrunning works, so. <laughs> to me, it's just like, oh, chickens, that's money. Nothing beats the forest farm. So what, like, what do you need at the start of the farm for speedrunning? Because I feel I'm going to have a hard time not playing on the Meadowlands farm going forward. Number one getting a coop right out of the gate. Number two, getting a dresser. <laughs> Not community center, for sure. How does it... No, the dresser's for me. Paint. It takes work to look this good. Four thousand gold plus sixteen hundred for two chickens is kind of small for an optimization. We were talking about speed running you Muppet. Okay. You don't have to you don't have to call names. Okay. You'd be nice about it for once. <laughs> Stop picking on me, Paint. Yeah. Thank you, Lee Chat. God. All day. This is what I deal with. <clears throat> you want me to be nice? No, I really won't like it. It's very uncomfortable. Please, please don't. So the money you get early game from eggs and mayo doesn't offset it. You walnut? Ooh, that's a really good insult. Because I love an insult, particularly in America, if I call somebody a Muppet, they get confused first before they recognize the insult. And calling somebody a walnut, I think, would have the same effect. That's pretty fantastic.
definitely doing turtle any percentage for the memes. <laughs> yeah, there's uh you can get a turtle now, Suave. Once you max hearts with your existing pet, you can build a, another fishbowl. Uh, another fish bowl, another another water bowl, and get another pet. Uh, which is cool. Doesn't realize that you would take it seriously. I am moderately impressed. Slightly moderately impressed at your pursuit and execution of your YouTube modding duties, Ping. Thank you. Stop talking. You're up to three cats and a turtle on your farm? Okay, I am... Okay, Lee Chat, if you want any percentage turtle, uh, can I recommend you have to get four turtles And name them Donatello, Leonardo, Raphael, and Michelangelo. But why? What do you mean, why? Yes. Uh, immediately, yes. Absolutely. Also, Lee Chat, it's super duper easy. Uh, there's a plugin for OBS. That just does it for you. <laughs> I don't have to do anything different. <laughs> I just hit start stream and it, it goes to both places. Most of the time. There's a couple times where YouTube doesn't work, but it's not bad. <clears throat> a pea head and it literally comes <laughs> Here comes the 15th. We made six grand. Oh, that's blueberries, though. I can't wait to see what dehydrated blueberries get. Gertrude, Fluffy Death, Angel, and Harold. The first cat is always Fluffy Death. Fair. So you're... Th you're th <laughs> Which one's the turtle? Harold? Yeah, cash. Rachel Kitten, how's it going? Cash money. Gertrude is the turtle? That's a pretty good turtle name. Um, what is happening? Yo, why Why is there so much stuff all over my... F what? Get off my farm. Saw the weather report last night. I'm not sure what'll happen. But if anyone wants to take shelter at the saloon, I'll keep it open all day. What? Are we going to have a pint and wait for this all to blow over? Is that what's happening? <laughs> Dried blueberries? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? 400. 400 for dried blueberries. Uh, so that doubles the price. Uh, well, almost doubles the price. I'm really not paying attention. I, there's weeds everywhere. And there's also moss on like every tree. What are those trees? All right, give me a second. Calm down. I'm in the middle of something. All right? Look at your trees. Look at your trees. Oh, holy foraging upgrade. Hot peppers. Yeah, corn. Okay. I 
have trees? I mean, what are these? What is this weird looking tree? Chop one down, bro. I got wood. Wow. I am whelmed. Do other weird trees. Uh, here's another weird tree. I got wood. Uh, it's moss. Swab. And sap. Mm hmm. Well, I do need a lot of wood for stuff, so. What are you. Oh, I forgot to cash that in. Oops. <clears throat> I have so many trees popped up. Uh, no, it's base game. Oh, 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 oh. Don't exhaust yourself. You moron. The zoom level that you can achieve in the game is based upon the resolution of your monitor as well. So, because I'm running 1440p, it allows you to have a much deeper zoom level. When Wifeboat plays on her Steam Deck, she's so zoomed in. I <laughs> All I do is sit there and just yell at her to zoom out. I can't, you can't see anything. It's ridiculous and obnoxious. And she refuses to change it because she knows it bothers me. And that's just petty behavior. Childish and petty. I'm not going to stand for it. So exactly what you do. N <laughs> no. Not exactly what I do. Very similar. But it's different because it's happening to me. And that makes it worse. I only got... Okay, I got five corn. So we can turn that into... For a bundle. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let me put this stuff away. We'll go wander around town. And see what's going on. Huh? We're going to sell that. And that. It is dehydrated blueberries. Good lord. What is happening? Have a great day at work, Senya. Thank you so much for hanging out. Maybe the wizard knows what's up? I want to pop into the saloon and see if everybody's here. Look it. Look. What? I'm talking to people. Just got off the phone with the governor. Apparently this rain is supposed to be completely harmless. Just an unusual phenomenon of nature. Some townsfolk are panicking, which is never good. I missed it. He 
you all right? We're all wondering what's going on. Uh... Oh, I got a mossy seed. This can be planted to grow rare wild trees. The silence is disconcerting. I will say. A little uncomfortable. What do you think, Clint? Situations like this where a person's true character is put to the test. That's why you're hiding in the saloon? Oh, look at this guy. I can chop this guy down. That gave me... F that was a giant fiddlehead fern? Oh. See if there's something up with the mega tree? Yeah, we're gonna go that way. This is wild. Well, I'm going to have a lot of moss now. Tons of fiber and tons of moss. It's super useful from what you understand. Uh, I have I only have the one recipe for it so far. Well, I have a cooking recipe, and then I have the recipe for the stump. The big tree doesn't have anything. I'm pretty sure that big tree is going to be a Junimo deal. After you complete the community center? That would be my guess. If you use Info Suite. Moss Soup, Bluegrass Starter, Challenge Bait, Deluxe Bait, Deluxe Worm Bin, uh, Mushroom Log, Speed Grow, The Statue of Blessings, takes 999 fiber, 333 moss, 999 sap, and 999 stone. F***ing what? Well, I guess we better <laughs> get harvesting. <laughs> you absolute statue of blessings. Well done. I got mixed flower seeds? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo. That's cool. Uh, we'll plant those when we get back to the farm. Wheels, how's it going? There's so much new stuff. Like, so much new stuff. We're still, we're halfway through summer of year one. And this is a completely new event. This is... All this stuff is new. It's wild. <clears throat> you can't plant them in winter? Okay. Jeez. Oh, there's another fiddlehead uh, tree. Random event or guaranteed? It seems like year one it's guaranteed on the 15th. My guess is it's then random. It's like day three of any save file is always a rainy day. Kind of thing. Seems to be kind of similar to that.
Do I hear a ghost? Great way to get fiddleheads before the secret woods. Yeah. Day six, you haven't built your silo yet? The new farm is wild. Thank you for the lurk, Perny. Ooh, mystery box. I'm just going to keep clearing all this stuff. That's what today is going to be. Getting a lot of fiber and a lot of moss. And apparently a lot of fiddleheads. How did I bring up that menu? That's a mod. Uh, it's look up anything. So it lets you hit F1 on anything and you can bring up different stuff. If you do exclamation point mods, it's a list of all the stuff that I'm running right now. It's just quality of life stuff for the most part. UI info suite, which adds some stuff to the UI that's helpful and all that. Look up anything is basically just giving you access to the wiki in game, which is super helpful. <laughs> that way you don't have to tab out or constantly browse through the wiki. I wonder if there's... Hmm. I wonder if there's a rare fish that you can only catch during the green rain. I know there's... Like, just looking at the silhouettes on the page, I know there was a couple, like, fish silhouettes that I didn't recognize. I wonder... Can you only get the mixed flower seeds uh, during this event? Or is that something that drops regularly and I just hadn't noticed yet? Or hadn't gotten it yet? I guess... Yeah. Nothing there. Other times too? Drops regularly? Okay. I just had been apparently very unlucky and not getting any. Although I hadn't cleared a ton of fiber, so... Fair. It's so dark. Oh, it's 22. Oops. <laughs> the day got away from me. That mouse is still up. Okay. Let's head home. Go to sleep this stuff away. I got a couple mystery boxes that we can go crack at Clint. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. Last couple yesterday stream I looked up and I was like, oh man, I gotta go. <laughs> I didn't realize how fast the uh, the day went. There's a couple that are like, like time stop can be cheaty depending on how you set it up. Uh, overall, it's not really like stopping time when you're in the uh, bathhouse. I don't think it's cheaty. I think it just works better. All right, that stuff goes in there. That goes in there. Let's go in there. 
Fiddleheads will go in there. Mystery box goes in there. We'll sell these. The corn we need to turn into the community center. Alright. That was something. Yeah, the expansion mods feel like DLCs, absolutely. Uh, gatherer, right? I'm never pauses. Yeah, there's a, I believe there's a mod specific one for co-op time stop stuff. I think Jay Warrior, if you're in Discord in the cozy games, I, I'm pretty sure it's uh, someone linked a mod that does that in there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, hi, Emily. Good morning. Thanks. Oh, because we donated cloth. Now we have access to her sewing machine. Noise. I think the one in Discord was specific to multiplayer, yeah. You've got mail. Uh, salmon dinner from Gus. Cheese cauliflower from Pam. Nice. More tomatoes. More hops. More squash. We got more dried blueberries. Does anyone... Now, oh, some people like this. 400 gold, though. Those are going to the community center. Let me grab my watering can. We can water. Coffee in six days. I'm only going to get a couple coffee beans before it's out of season, but then we'll save them to plant in spring or once we get the greenhouse going. Those are watered from the sprinkler. Oh, my chicken should have hatched. My void chicken, right? Hey, choose a name. Nopa. Uh, yeah, I got the one for uh, putting a perfect ingredient in the stew, in the potluck. That's a new achievement. Uh... Instead of Nopa, let's just go Nope. Welcome to the farm. Little baby Nope. Alright, we can throw our dinosaur egg in there now. Perfect name for a void chicken, I know. Right? The amount are there? I have. I didn't even look at achievements. Because I still don't have the achievement for perfection. <laughs> oh, it's in game. That's right. It doesn't tell you what they are, though. There's a lot, though. Yeah, unforgettable soup. Delight the governor. So I wonder if there's... Oh. Get first place in the Stardew Valley Fair competition. Help your forest neighbors grow their family. Uh, that's gotta be that big tree, right? 100% that's gotta be that big tree. Obtain the most powerful weapon. 
Ship every item, monoculture, polyculture, Y. Five hearts, upgrade your house, and help wanted 40 items. Master angler, homesteader. Well read. Okay. All right. Dinosaur egg is incubating. Let's finish watering. Two more days for another batch of blueberries. Uh, Gold Star Mayo wheels. It seems like, because I know Gold Star cheese was, is a perfect ingredient. So it kind of seems like any Gold Star artisanal product works well. So, uh... Let's see. How much? I did get a fair bit of iron. We can go see Clint and get uh, these opens and these opens. I can put one of these on my fishing pole. Oh, I have to donate that to the museum, too. Oh, and then that we need for the community center. Okay. We got some stuff to do. Let's go do that. <clears throat> oh, Scuzzy. Get out. Usually do a gold cauliflower. Scottish biologists crossed a watermelon with a cauliflower. Consumers in the new varietal were left with a sense of sadness, known as melancholy. I forgot a uh, sunflower. You're allowing it to stay. What do you do here, Nerdin? What is it that you say you do here? Hmm? Hmm? Because it's certainly not your job. Oh, I need 10? I thought it was five. I do need it for the fall crops bundle. Does exactly what I pay her to do. Hurtful, but accurate. Quick to uh, jump on that agreement there, Nerdin. You've all seen what Nerdin is capable of. You really want to get on her bad side. You know what? Fair point, Scuzzy. Uh, that's a fair point. Uh, Nerdin, I'd like to apologize and offer you a 100% raise. <clears throat> uh, Zeno will be covering that. He's He's good for it. How much sandstone am I going to get? Ooh. I'm doing my best. Ooh, clutch. Ooh, double clutch. Nerdin gets paid for modding. Where do you sign up? 
Uh, so you have to send a message to, typically Twitch Whisper works the best, to Mikey Venture, all one word. He'll get you squared away. You got a mystery box that had three mystery boxes inside. Nice. Here we go again. <laughs> Every time Mikey gets a whisper like that, I can only imagine it's CJ from the beginning of San Andreas. A diamond for Gus. 2250 Gus. My dude, 2,000. Do I have a diamond at home? <laughs> In that case, I'll pass. Jeez, that's so much. That bundle's done. Charcoal kiln. Uh, exotic foraging. I need to make tappers and then winter forage. Add fall forage. 750, I believe, Rachel. Why are you still a mod? Because I am a treat? So, I don't understand the question. Can you remove yourself as a mod? No. Uh, no. <clears throat> Definitely not like a hostage situation, Lala, please. That's inaccurate. I need to save that for the farm computer right slash unmod your name don't encourage her it's fine you can't leave nerdin it's impossible cannot can't be done sorry no siree, there's no conceivable possible way for it to occur, so I guess this is what you do now. Okay, okay. All right, we got to save this corn until we get more corn. Too much channel knowledge to leave. <laughs> And then we're going to go give this diamond to Gus for a ridiculous amount of money. <laughs> it's like taking institutional knowledge when you quit a job. Yeah. Chili, good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Happy Tuesday. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, Gus... I have a diamond that you're going to pay me more than double its value for. Thanks, buddy. Just so much money. And a ticket, which I think is just going to get me mixed seeds. I think that's what we're up to. But What day is it? It's Tuesday, right? Oh, a bed. I want to know what that is. these off, sell the mayo, and then I do want to try fishing in the waterfall again. 
see if there's anything new any new fish down in the uh the forest area there throw another iron bar in oh what's the The deluxe coop is 200 stone, 500 wood. And how much money? How much is the deluxe coop? Isn't it like 20 grand? I think... I think it's like 20 grand. Right? Something like that. I don't think I have enough. 20k. That's too much. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna save up. So then we can get... Oh, I could buy a duck. Oh, we got a dino cooking. Oh, wait. Let's go fish down here. Down by Hat Mouse. Ew, pokey. Thinks I'm going to save up? I am. What are you talking about? I'm absolutely going to save up. Is that a Dorado? Wait, you can... Oh, yeah. It's summer, right? That's probably a Dorado. Oh, it tell oh, that's so cool. It tells me what's on there. That's fun. That's a fun attachment. Oh yeah, Rachel Kitten. And you should come down to this spot on Spring 17. Uh, there's something special that happens there only on that day. What fish is that? That's not a Dorado. Ooh! That's a new f minus sixty two energy. It sells for a hundred and eighty seven gold. I was there a new fish listed in the patch notes? I don't remember seeing Yeah, I definitely saw new new shadows. I thought it was just the uh like the river slime and stuff. The goby was listed, was it? My memory is hot trash. <laughs> Can I show the fish collection? I sure can. Maybe. There it is. A bream. Ooh, and a chest. Uh, topaz and a rock. Uh, boop. Eesh. So these we definitely knew were new, right? Definitely knew were new. And then that one on the end. Yeah. Okay. So the sea jelly, the river jelly. I guess I haven't, have I not caught a lake jelly? I'm assuming that's what that is. Oh, cave jelly. Oh. Interesting. That's a lionfish, discus. I don't see any other new silhouettes. I don't think. 
Okay, these all look the same. Cave jelly. Hm. Okay. The other collection tabs? Yeah. So here's crops. Oh, that's fiddlehead fern. I didn't sell. Oh, I should sell one of the fiddlehead ferns and ship it. Uh, oh. A lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. I haven't sold a summer squash. I thought I did. That looks like broccoli, and then that's the powder melon or whatever. What is that? Oh, smoked fish. Okay. I have kids? Uh, I am. Nerd. <clears throat> but we got, we got, we're good for right now. We're good for a bit. Another bream? Oh, now I want to go fishing in the mines and get cave jelly. So we need the, we need the three different jellies to be able to make a fish smoker. Kind of forgot about them yesterday. I didn't kind of forget about them yesterday. It's fine. It's fine. They'll live. They're old enough. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> so, yesterday, when I picked up my daughter... <laughs> driving home she's like oh so i was in the library doing research on my project and my teacher came over and was like i need to see you and pulled me out into the hallway and there was a secretary from the office and she was like come with me and then was like the vice principal wanted to see her and made her sit outside waiting outside his office and she's full-on panic like what did i do what happened why am I in trouble? Full on, like, spiral, right? And then this uh, kid came out of the vice principal's office who lives in the same apartment complex as us and walked by, like, looking very unhappy. Uh, so then she gets called in and she sits down and he goes, so how's the bus? And she goes, what bus? And he's like, how are things on the bus? And she's like, I don't take the bus. And he goes, wait, what's your name? And she goes, you called me down here and you don't even know who I am? <laughs> so she gave her name and he's like, I'm sorry, I have the wrong person. She's like, oh, good. So I just got anxious for nothing then. Thank you. <laughs> I love her so much. So much. <clears throat> so that vice principal uh, waits outside by parent pickup. So I'll be rolling down my window and asking why it is he interrupted my daughter's uh, academic day for literally no reason. Really? How's it going? I could just, I can hear, you know, she walked out of that room like, <laughs> like that exact noise came out of her mouth when she walked out of that office. <laughs> uh, Ash like, how's it going? Welcome in. <clears throat> Making the VP uncomfortable. Yeah. You got the mine carts? Nice, Panda. So I was like, oh, so you want to ride the bus from now on? <laughs> is that is that what you're telling me? <laughs> Seems like it's a good time. You're missing out. Uh, that value has to go up with Artisan, right? 34 hundo. <laughs> <laughs> Bring two pieces of bread for an idiot sandwich. Yeah. 
It's Sam's birthday. There's something going on, yeah. <laughs> Sam. We could try to find a sweet pea somewhere. Oh, I have to bring a sunflower to the uh, community center. I keep forgetting. Hi, puppers. Boop, 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 boop. No, I don't want to eat the sunflower. Thank you. Flight tonight, which was supposed to be at 6.45, just got delayed to 9.15. That's not the same thing at all. That's not even close to the same thing at all. Like, <laughs> oopsie doodle. Sorry. Hope you didn't have plans. Just type sweet pea in your client search bar and was wondering why I couldn't find the client he needed. <clears throat> Didn't know you did consulting work for Popeye and olive oil. Alkalin, how's it going? Oh, right, he likes pizza. Yeah, that's a good shout. We could just buy some pizza from Gus. That's a good idea. All right, let's water. Yay. Yay, water. Woo. Sam. You got a game question? Fire away, Rachel. I have what will undoubtedly be the perfect and correct answer that you were looking for. Without question. 100%. The right answer. Join you in your solo farm and it's not solo anymore. If he's not there, does time still not stop? Or does it only do it if he's there? That's a question for somebody who's played more co-op than I have. <clears throat> it, it should treat it like a solo game as long as you're there solo. I believe, Rachel. Because I've made fake co-op partners to get... Uh, to get a second house upgraded to get a second basement. So it should, if it worked, yeah, because I've done split screen co-op in order to add a second fake character to get a second house fully upgraded to get a second basement. Which is not cheating. It's tactical advantage making. You're a it's not it's not cheating. I just explicitly said it is very much not cheating. Thank you and good day. A radish for Sam. We can do that and give him a birthday present. Uh, radish. Creative loops loopholes. There's split screen, sure. Or shared screen. Anyway, do you also use the second set of tools in their house so you don't go without them when Clint's doing the upgrades? Uh, that's a lot harder to do now, Nerdin, uh, because Concerned Ape changed the way the tools work. So now you actually have to create like a second character because they're not in the they're not in the dresser anymore. So that makes it a lot harder to do, but you can do that, sure. <clears throat> did I cheat before the change? It's not cheating. It's not cheating. It's part of the game that I'm taking advantage of. That's all. Mm 
happens at noon. Come on. Does your character pay taxes for one or two houses? Do we pay taxes? Listen, I'm carrying this town. I can do what I want. We should tax them. Yup. Oh, come on. You were so far away, Sam. Wait, you're the one who wanted this, right? Yeah, okay. I'm a gopher. You can play a farm in solo or co-op, so hosting it but being the only one there should be okay. Yes. Yep. And if you host it, then it's multiplayer. Yeah. Come on. Wakey, wakey. Lewis subsidizes your farm with what? Gus. Just sitting there ringing the bell over and over again. Gus. 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 <laughs> uh, I should buy... Oh, there's a complete breakfast in here. 700, though. All right. Uh, pizza, that's a love for Sam, right? Yeah. Thanks, Gus. Bye, Gus. Where'd you go? Where did he go? Oh, he's going to Joja. Had this game in your library for ages and you never played it? Oh, Ash. This game is wonderful. I recommend it highly. Nice. You have to play it. It's really good. Like, I was resistant and I didn't really want to play it initially. And we ended up doing a charity goal a million years ago to make me play it on stream. Uh, it's now my most streamed game. And I genuinely love this game. Very, very much. We're really sweet. He's just so... Both him and Alex are so young. Nerd, and that's the only problem. Yeah, I've played uh, Graveyard Keeper, Ash, 100%. If it's a, like, a cozy farm sim-ish related game, I have most likely played it. That is somewhat my wheelhouse. Uh, let's go fish in the ocean, I guess. I do, I need to get back into the mines. See, Abigail feels... Abigail doesn't feel as young. Ooh. Cutscene with Sam. Except Farm Sim. Yeah, the actual Farm Sim. I haven't played that. Because you love Graveyard Keeper? Yeah, you would like this. Core Keeper's really good, too. Yeah. I played that one weird game about a wet frog. Yeah. Slippy the Frog. Abigail does the egg hunt. She's a baby. Fair. Fair. Damn. Also, the way she argues with her parents. To be fair, it's Pierre, so I discount that. Everyone argues with Pierre. I think um it's a toss up right now between Maru and Penny, I think. So she tries to get all the eggs before they can. Yeah, that's fair. 
Nothing keeps you feeling youthful like stealing the joy from children, honestly. If you haven't tried it, can recommend. Is she really arguing with her parents? Dad just went out for oat milk and vape juice. He's definitely coming back. Mm -hmm. Do I steal those sick dubs from kids in Fall Guys? <laughs> What age is your character in the game, though? Uh, that's... that's fair. <clears throat> Seems like your character's fairly young. In-game. Like, just out of college? Realized they didn't want to do a desk job, so peaced out to the country? Imagine if that was actually an option. Everyone is ageless? Oh, I'd do it in a heartbeat. Here's a house that's paid off. It's a little run down. You didn't let me finish. You're already gone. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Willie. Fish smokers, 10 grand. Super cucumber bait. <laughs> Elliot, though? Mm hmm. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> the rubber ducky, look at it, oh no, <laughs> plan is to marry Sebastian, professional, professional programmer, musician, plays D&D, &D. that's fair, you have a type. If only he wasn't a smoker. Yeah, that's fair, Max. Is there a hot key for Zoom? I don't think so. Chili. On PC, there's the plus and minus underneath the clock. Ugh. Uh, and then it's also in options. Your zoom level. No motorcycle? Is it really a motorcycle if it's, like, always broken and he never really rides it? I mean, you do get that cutscene where he does take you for a motorcycle ride, but, like, kind of feels like somebody bought a busted up cheap motorcycle just to have it and to and to work on it. Passion project that he's working on repairing. Yeah. Cause Tiger has purple hair. Fair. Mm -hmm. Come on, Mr. Tuna. Hot ah, pepper tuna. Just gonna sit on the bottom, all right. Manic pixie girl energy. Yeah. <clears throat> 
I think everybody knows someone like that, Nerd, to be fair. Won't admit it's a poor choice. Yeah. My one brother in his in his twenties had this beat old like a eighty eight Mustang that he constantly tried to work on and get running and was gonna make it good and I think he ended up donating it <laughs> to like cars for kids or something because it was just a disaster. It was a money pit and a disaster. Oh, that was a good start though. No! Ah, I gotta level up fishing. Or have fishing food. With an old MGB, yeah. Getting married on the solar eclipse day? Oh, that's brave. That's gonna be a busy day. School sent another email reiterating. Like, if you're taking your... Because the... We're in the zone of like 90%, I think, for the eclipse. <clears throat> and it peaks at like 235 or something. So they're like, if you're taking your kids out early for the solar eclipse, you have to come get them. It was like by 1230 or something. Like, we're not doing a whole mess of dismissals. Like, right, like, early dismissals, like, right at regular dismissal time because you want to come pick your kids up. Like, if you're picking them up, you're coming to get them before 1230. Like, full stop. The chest being there is just rude. Timing it to the eclipse would be epic. Yeah. Yeah. The super cucumber. Ooh. I'm going to miss the super cucumber too. Jeez. Super cucumbers are the worst because they're moderately difficult to catch and they sell for nothing. There is no gain to spending the time trying to catch it. <laughs> like, it's... Take your kid to experience an eclipse. Yeah, but you know some people, because some people will be like, they'll realize like, oh, the day before, oh, there's an eclipse tomorrow. I'm going to come pick you up and then it's going to be a mess at the end of the day. Like, it's them getting ahead of it because they know people are going to forget about it and just make it a disaster. They're also offering like a, like a science club thing where you can have your kids stay and they'll do, like, eclipse-related activities and stuff uh, during the eclipse as, like, a free after-school deal on that day. Which is nice. <clears throat> uh, you should be 80% nerdin', I think. It's basically 80-plus 80, 80 percent all the way out to the coast, I think. I think it's enough. Anything over 50% is you can enjoy. You know, that's something that you're going to be able to see. So it's cool. Also, don't buy eclipse glasses off of Amazon. Please. They're not <laughs> they they're not real. <laughs> don't don't do it. Not another one for like 30 years. You're in 90% binary? Yeah. That's that's where we are. Roughly, yeah. Uh, sell, 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 sell. Sell. I need to get a garbage machine. Or a recycler. Let's throw that in there. Get another iron bar.
Okay, how's it going? Did you miss anything? Not a thing. Not a thing. We have a void chicken now. And we're ha we're in the process of hatching our dinosaur egg. But beyond that. I like doing the uh the piece of paper. You punch a hole on a piece of paper and then hold it up and you can watch the shadow and you can watch it like clip across. There's that's fun. It's cool. Yeah, we did. There was a there was a full eclipse in it's like 2017 or something like that. I remember. It's like one of the first times in a long time that wife boat and I didn't have the kids for the day and we drove down to uh see some friends. And watch the eclipse with them. That was a lot of fun. Alright. Speaking of children. It's about that time. So that is all the time I have for today. I'm going to be back tomorrow morning around 9am Eastern time. We're going to kick off with more Stardew. Uh, more Stardew today. More Stardew tomorrow. More Stardew on Thursday. Uh, Flex Friday this week. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to be doing on Friday. Uh, I do know my kids are off and they have requested to play a little Fortnite with me on stream. We'll see how they go through the week and we might do that. So we'll see. Uh, thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the follows and all the love today. I always appreciate it. Uh, we're going to go say hi to uh, our good friend, Jimmy Jamerson, who's also playing Stardew. So we can keep the good vibes going and have some fun with Jim. I will see you all bright and early tomorrow morning for more Stardew. So until then, as always, as ever, remember, be good to each other. Bye, everybody.